Hi guys, so today I am finally making a follow-up video of the Lucas battery pack. I've been receiving a lot of emails ever since I uploaded my very first unboxing video of this specific device. A lot of people were interested how, um, you know, is this uh, device work and um, just want to find more about it. Um, so first of all, what is the battery pack and who needs the battery pack? So battery pack basically gives you a little more juice in order to run longer parking lot videos. A lot of nice cars in Korea, they have extra batteries in the trunk and to feed say up to four or six cameras. Um, parking mode is a necessary feature in Korean you know, uh, society. I mean, if you're driving a nice car, uh, it's a very, uh, any import cars are expensive in Korea. So some people, a lot of people are, you know, uh, like they worry about getting their cars vandalized. So because of that reason, dash cam is very popular. Um, I was in Korea for about a month. I had to look for a reliable, portable battery source. And I've been asking a lot of people. I've been asking um, a lot of the... Uh, the reputable installers. Um, I've been. I actually visited their shops and seen their um, installs and stuff like that. And uh, they all recommended this battery pack. Um, the reason why is that the battery pack is actually the battery itself is actually coming from LG Electronics. LG Electronics. I don't know if you guys know. They're just as big as Samsung. Well, not as big. <laughs> I guess they're not equal anymore. But used to be almost. They're they're pretty much solid they they were both about equal or you know uh, lg was a little more reputable in terms of lcds and um the battery stuff so don't quote me 100 percent on it but i think i've seen uh you know news articles about how uh, apple products apple ipad iphone mac computers their batteries are actually coming from lg so as soon as i saw that on the paper i knew this product could be trusted and this is actually the only battery pack that's dedicated in towards using uh, the dash cam or the navigations because other that uh, other portable battery packs i've actually spoken to those companies i did talk to the managers at tpowerc when i was in korea they themselves were selling us telling me literally that their devices are not meant for the uh, dash cam and as soon as i heard that okay i don't need really don't need more information than that right but they do sell it um, because there's demand for it but really those um things uh those battery packs are really meant for the event for charging cell phones and charging like lighter uh stuff um not for running a dash cam what's unique about this specific battery pack is that it can also work as a hardwiring kit so you can actually hardwire this into the fuse box and then it also cuts power if it goes below 11.9 v or your set voltage um, so because of that you can actually work, use it as a battery pack plus hardwiring kit so it gives you a little extra juice even when your car gets turned down you had a little more juice battery power to run uh, for the parking mode but for those who are not comfortable hardwiring their dash cam into the fuse box then you can use this specific device um, so let's go have a look at this um, right now i'm using dr500 in our new 5 series and dr400 in the back um, this two-way channel system is called two channel system um, the back one is hardwired to the fuse box and the front one isn't hardwired is actually using the battery pack so, so for five series um, you know I uh, <laughs> was able to find room right down there so I'm able to just put it in just throw it in and uh, see how they work um, the battery packs obviously won't give you the clean finish you're going to see these wires as you can see right there hanging so for those who are really looking towards um, clearing all the wires this isn't the right way to go um, I've why well, know two different uh, categories of customers one is that I need to have a clean finish and the other one and then those who don't actually care about parking mode but they just want a clean finish but whereas others they want the parking mode so right now it is not on because I didn't really drive this car um, you do have to charge this battery pack um, for about well I mean if you do uh, you know if you drive daily it should be okay but if you don't drive this car every single day you know, the battery pack won't last for long um, I heard I, on the paper it says you can charge for two hours and you can get as many I think as up to um, 13 hours of you know uh, 
battery life on this and I can actually quote you that uh, that is indeed true because we took this car for a long trip after taking this car's delivery we just picked this car up last time actually when is it Saturday Friday no Friday it's, yeah Friday and we took this car to uh, also use in BC it was about five hour ride we uh, tested this device along with many different devices and this was our main um, uh, device to test and I was on it and it charges up pretty quick that's another thing to differentiate from the T-Power C or any other battery packs they don't charge as quickly as this one um, but for maximum use and maximum um, you know to really benefit from this device I would say you do have to charge it from your home uh, solely you're just using this device um, for the parking mall so might as well just get it charged from your house run it um, and uh, bring it back and forth but for those who don't mind hardwiring this into the fuse box you can basically do any uh, it comes with the hardwiring kit uh, it comes with those uh, stripped wires uh, and you can actually hardwire it and you can set your own voltage to cut off and whatnot. So it works well that way. Um, uh, what I, um, so I'm trying to understand. So for me, parking mode, parking mode is a must. I, you guys know I love cars and I care my, I'm really, really careful with my cars. And just like any other Korean people out there, I mean, not just Korean people, but like for the Korean uh, general consensus of this specific Dash, these dash cam use we believe uh, we need the parking mode so that's another thing I found interesting when I a lot of Chinese companies contact us and ask hey sell our dash cams but for me I look at the uh, the feature called parking mode by motion detection but none of the Chinese dash cam makers have that specific function um, I think there are one or two they're starting to come up with it but they instead they put a big you know battery uh, lithium battery which isn't safe to put and they basically run it and advertise it as that as a parking mode but that doesn't it isn't the same as the black view or the fine views parking mode because the ones that we sell are motion detected anybody walks around the car it starts recording anyway hits the car it starts recording whereas the chinese dash cams they basically put a, a big battery inside charge it while you can and once you drive i mean once you park your car it, just continuously recording it that means you're really wasting uh, it's not efficient you're burning energy and at the same time you're wasting a lot of SD card you know uh, slot right so um, uh, what I was trying to get to is that for me parking mode is must and I'm not afraid about doing fuse box installs um, maybe because I've done because <laughs> maybe because I'm doing the installs but I've done it on many many cars um, probably over 200 or 300 i don't know since last year and for even my car i have literally three dash cams on my audi and for this bmw we have two dash cams so i'm not afraid about uh, hardwiring and using that fuse box to be honest um and another tip for fuse box is that some people you know think that the uh, what is it? Uh, editing, not editing the fuse adapter isn't safe, but really I've seen and I've learned it actually from the most reputable and most recognized shops in Korea, and and I've seen it. I actually saw it this time because I was in Korea and that was one of the purpose uh, of going there, right? So, anyways, um, I am going to make this video short. Uh, I believe this is a quick, straightforward uh, video of how it is laid out um, basically I have my device right there runs it and goes down like that so anyways um, if you have any questions please feel free to email us at info at blackboxmycar.com or visit our website at blackboxmycar.com thank you very much stay tuned I will make more videos about this device and subscribe to our channel thank you